What's up guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Holics Rookie Mini Series. In this series we're going to break down the top fantasy rookie fantasy relevancy and their impact with their new teams. Today we're starting out with Clyde Edwards Hilaire who was picked in the first round, pick 32 by the Kansas City Chiefs. If you look on the corner of my screen you'll see what his, uh, what his combine stats were. In college he came out of LSU, um, progressively got better every year and last year, his junior year, he ran for 1,414 yards, 16 touchdowns uh, and, and route to the uh, to the L to the LSU National Championship that they that Joe Burrow was selected first overall and they played in. Um, so, Jordan, why don't you give us uh, your insight on Clyde mm -hmm. Edwards-Hilaire and, and how you think he'll fare well this year? Yeah, no, so, I mean, I guess starting off, it was surprising that he went in the first round. A lot of people had either Swift or Jonathan Taylor ahead of him. Some people even had Dobbins and Cam Akers, so it was very surprising he went in the first round. But he was one of my favorite running backs of the draft the Kansas City Chiefs, and we talked about this pre-draft or the most ideal landing spot for any of the rookie running backs. So from day one, he's going to have an opportunity to be a three-down back. Uh, you know, Dame Williams has been inconsistent, to say it nicely. So I think from day one, Clyde Edwards is going to be a three-down back. Andy Reid's already gone on record to compare him to Brian Westbrook. I think that he could be even better than that. So he's going to have an opportunity to catch a lot of passes. We all know that that's the most dynamic offense in football between Pat Mahomes, Andy Reid running the offense, Tyreek Hill. Uh, I like McCole Hardman. Also, Sammy Watkins is still there. They brought back the Marcus Robinson. So they just have weapons all over the field, which really takes the pressure off of Edwards Hilaire. Yeah, and – we went into this draft knowing that a that Kansas City was going to be looking at a running back, and then b whoever that running back was going to be, it was he's either going to be like your first or second rookie off the board in, in your drafts in your rookie drafts. Um, you already mentioned it; he's being compared to Brian Westbrook, and and we think he could be better than that. I have a couple of Brian Westbrook stats up here. Just between two thousand six to two thousand eight, his three uh, three of his better years that he had in his career. This is when Andy Reid was in Philadelphia. Um, he had 1,200 yards, 1,300 yards, and then 900 yards. And then the year that he had 900 yards, he had nine touchdowns. So they, Andy Reid, he likes to utilize the running back. He really hasn't had that stud running back. Uh, he had Kareem Hunt a couple years ago uh, for just the one year, though. But he really hasn't had that stud running back, that Brian Westbrook-type running back um, since he left Philly. So it's it's we're, we're basically... We're getting just another dimension to this Kansas City Chiefs offense that the ball is going to be spread around, but Edwards Hilaire is going to get his workload. He is he's going to be uh, one of Patrick Mahomes' favorite favorite pieces on that offense. Um, they got the speedsters on the outside and Tyreek Hill and McCole Hardman, and just I mean this offense is going to flow. It's going to score a lot of points, and you want any piece of the offense that you can. I mean, there's some offenses where they do have a lot of pieces, and it's only one football to go around. Kansas City is one of those offenses where you can trust you could trust it all around and, and to get their starting number one running back there I think Damian Williams is just going to phase out um, even last year when he had a heavy a heavy portion of the workload he he really wasn't all that so I think that there's going to be no problem with Hilaire starting from day one and just giving you fantasy relevancy from day one yeah no and I would agree and not to mention I think it's going to open up opportunities for Tyreek Hill and their other wide receivers if defenses have to keep honest because there's a strong run game or there's a possibility of a screen that's really a phase that they haven't had since they lost Kareem Hunt so that's going to be huge for the entire Chiefs offense as far as where I would take Hilaire in drafts I think he's the consensus number one pick in rookie mock drafts I mean you could argue Jonathan Taylor any of the other running backs but I don't think there's anybody that has a better mix of opportunity both in the short and long term so to me he's definitely the number one pick in one quarterback leagues if it's a super flex or two QB league you could start to argue Joe Burrow which I don't have a problem with but one QB leagues it's definitely Hilaire when you're talking redraft leagues I ha personally have Hilaire projected for 1200 total yards 50 catches right around seven or so touchdowns which if he had those numbers last season he would have been rb10 so i have him as a lower end running back number one i think he's going to go right around late second early third in a lot of redraft leagues and i think based on the value that he can provide even though he's a rookie i think that's a good spot for him I think if you could get him in the late second, early third, that's a great spot for him. I think people seeing that he's with the Chiefs offense, seeing that he's the number one on the Chiefs offense, he's going to go a little bit higher. Um, so 
I think he's going to be he's going to be a heavy reach candidate. But in the at the end of the day, at the end of the season, it very well could work out. So I'm really not against it. I think he's he could go like mid, early to mid first, right around like that Joel Mixon era area. Um, right around the turn maybe if you're picking a stud wide receiver at 12 or 11 you get him at 13 14 so i could definitely see that happening too mm -hmm. yep. all right finish